Earlier this month, I profiled a very successful Japanese trader named Testa, who made well over $48 million so far in his trading career. Now, many of you have requested that I put together another video to explain his day trading strategies in more detail. Well, I've gone through his blog, where he shares under the name Tasuda, his approach to day trading and many trading lessons. So in this video, I'm going to outline many trading strategies that you can learn from Testa, and I will add my personal trading experiences to it, so you can benefit from my expertise as well. Hey traders, this is Mike Sir here. I've been an active trader for over 21 years and a trader coach for the past 15 years. In my videos, I profile all the top traders in the world and teach you how to replicate their incredible success. I've been fortunate to train many successful traders. And in this video, I'm going to outline 10 of Testa's day trading ideas that you can incorporate into your daily trading. So let's get started. Japan has one of the most active day trading communities. In fact, Japanese day traders now account for more than 40% of the nation's equity volume. And with the dramatic daily price movements, it has made Japan the most volatile developed stock market and a day trader's paradise. For those who don't know, day trading is essentially where traders buy and sell stocks and never carry it over to the next day. And this type of day trading style that Testa trades is called scalping, which involves trading large volume of shares but only tries to profit off of small price movements and making a quick profit, usually in minutes or even seconds. His day trading approach is winning at stocks is about predicting the future. I have a lot better chance of predicting what's going to happen in the next few seconds than what will happen in the next six months. Testa describes himself as a stable and relatively risk adverse person. He doesn't like to take many risks and focuses on not losing any of his trading principle. In his opinion, he considers day trading to have the characteristic of taking no risk since he generally buys and sells only in the price range that it moves in a day and the fact that he doesn't hold any positions overnight. So if the market suddenly crashes, he won't be affected. Also, even though the profit from each trade is small, he makes around 200 to 300 trades per day so all the profits do add up to a nice profit. And he cuts his losses quickly to minimize any big losses. On a daily basis, Testa has about 30 stocks on his watch list that he monitors. Now, even though Testa trades a lot each day, he focuses on day trading only one stock at a time. And the main reason is that he once he spots any price movements on any one of the 30 stocks that he's monitoring, he has to decide immediately if he should buy or sell. And then once he decides, he immediately executes his trade as a moment of hesitation can be fatal. Also, once he starts trading a certain stock and if the price movement is unexpectedly small, he doesn't hesitate to switch to another stock. He only wants to be trading stocks that move up or down. The key to finding stocks to day trade is to look for stocks with large price movements. Because if there's not much price movement, no matter how many times you buy and sell, you will not make a profit. Now, Testa generally finds more opportunities for stocks with sharp price fluctuations that go up and down significantly during the day. In addition, if he finds a stock that continues to be volatile on a daily basis, he would keep day trading that stock for a month or two. And the benefit of following one stock for a long time is that you will start to see certain habits and tendencies of each stock such as whether the stock moves very smoothly in one direction or whether the price is choppy, meaning it goes up and down. It's like kind of knowing the stock's personality. Testa has found far more stable results when he's trading just one particular stock for a while versus trading different stocks every single day. And I completely agree because I used to day trade Apple stock every single day for a month, especially around the time that they were about to announce the iPhone. The rumors around the iPhone will lead to a lot of volatility in the stock price and I remember making money on the stock every single day. I felt very comfortable with how the price moved and you could say that I got a sixth sense on how it moved. So that's also why I kept day trading it every single day. One of the reasons why a stock's price can be volatile is due to the uncertainty surrounding new product announcements. As I mentioned about the iPhone, no one really knows whether the phone will be a big hit or a big disappointment. 
Some analyst forecasts will say, well, it's not going to sell well, whereas in reality, it could sell well because consumers will buy it irregardless. But what this uncertainty does is it causes the stock price in Apple to fluctuate, and this is when day traders shine. In addition, when the economy is in a state of crisis or turmoil, this creates a lot of opportunities for day traders. For example, the 2011 Fukushima tsunami disaster caused stocks like Tokyo Electric Power Company to fluctuate wildly on a daily basis for a month and accounted for one in every 10 shares changing hands on the Nikkei 225. The reality is the more volatile a market or a stock is helps day traders by making room for bigger gains when they bet correctly on the price's direction. In trading, if a stock is stuck in a certain price range, then it becomes a wall and it may be difficult for the price to rise. The simple reason is that there will be many traders who will take profits or cut their losses in this price range. So what you want to do is avoid trading in range bound markets and look at the trading volume to see if there's enough activity to push the price further up. If there is, then the price will rise. If not, the price will be stuck in a certain price range. Similarly, if you see a stock that many people are trading at the same time, meaning that the stock has a large trading volume, then you want to join in the action because there's an opportunity to profit from price movements either up or down. One of the reasons why Tesla has been able to make a lot of money in the stock market is because he day trades with margin, meaning he borrows capital from his broker so he can trade amounts that exceed his own funds. For example, he has been able to leverage $4.5 million in cash into as much as $67 million in his daily stock bets. In fact, it's very, very common for most day traders to trade with margin because if you know how to day trade well, borrowing capital from the broker is like free money with no interest. However, trading with margin is of course risky if prices move against you and you could lose a lot of money. But how Tesla approaches it is that if you have specific rules in place, for example, like not utilizing the leverage all on one trade or slowly sizing up as you make profits. In 2013, when the Japanese economy was doing fairly well and the stock market was revitalized, Tesla found it much easier to day trade. Now there were many more stocks that reacted well in terms of their price movements and trended along with the markets. Prior to 2013, Japanese stocks didn't move a lot and Tesla found it difficult to get an opening for a trade. But when stocks start moving and generating some volatility, he had to make the most of it. In fact, this was one of the reasons why he worked extremely hard on trading almost every day in 2013 and ultimately got rewarded by making over $4.4 million that year. My saying is that when markets are hot, you gotta take advantage of the opportunities. As I mentioned in my past videos, the way to make money in the stock market is to focus on not losing money because you can control how much you can lose. Now it's the same for Tesla. Ever since he started trading, he always thought of how he can avoid losing rather than how he can win. And this is also why he doesn't day trade on days when he can't find stocks that move or when the markets are slow and stagnant. In the beginning, he would try to trade every day, but nowadays he only trades about 15 days in a month. And even on the days he doesn't trade, he will sit in front of the computer to monitor the charts and collect price data. According to Testa, to become a successful day trader, you need to commit to it 100% and not just day trade part-time. It's a big handicap if, for example, you can only trade once or twice a week because a stock's price movement generally tends to continue from the previous day. And by knowing how a stock traded, you can spot similar price movements the following day. However, I do understand that it's difficult to day trade, especially when you have a full-time job. And I made a past video on how to become a full-time trader while traveling. And you can watch that video at the end. Now, some options for you to consider is to day trade other markets that are open 24 hours, seven days a week, such as the currency market or the cryptocurrency market. So these are the 10 day trading ideas that you can learn from Testa and myself. And I'll end this video on Testa's trading philosophy. Do not lose, win at the end. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and want to watch other videos where I profile the top traders in the world, please click on the left for another trader profile video. 
and also click on the right for my top trader profile playlist.